Hello guys, and uh, today uh, I have this cat. And for example, if I want to screw this cat up to 50, okay. And if I click on the screw and I go to the uh, topper angle, uh, I can set this one up to 10. Go to the front view. And you can see uh, the topper angle uh, will scale the upper face bigger and it will generate the angle between this line and this line will be the angle of the top the uh, topper angle okay but what happened if I want the upper face smaller so I will set the topper angle to negative 10 and you can see I fail and I cannot do that because if I do that free cut help to scale the upper face smaller and this angle between this uh, this arc and this line will be a problem for free cut to generate an offset inside so in this video i will create it manually but in the parametric way so let me show you the result let me delete in this true and this get so in this video uh, i will can go into the far set and i can go to the extrusion and i can, can and i can control the extrusion how much i want to extrude for example 50 and you can see the object is now shorter and I want to control the top angle negative to for example one okay now um, you can see how the shape changing and you can go up to 10 go this one to 70 and if you go too far for example you go to 15 it will fail okay because this geometry in here will be call up and free cut cannot love the geometry so if you want to do that you can follow my tutorial okay so this is the star file you can download it in the video description because i want to make it parametric so i will create a variable for that i create variable set and I want to control the is true value and I go to the uh, property land property land over here and click on add another to add another one click OK OK now i will add another one um i will add the tapper uh, angle negative okay and for the the type i will choose the float property float click ok and cancel now if we go to the var set is true i want to make it uh in this video i want you to do this one up to 50 and the angle i want to set it to seven okay now um i want to make a copy of this sketch and move uh, the copy up to the value of the extrusion so I hit Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste it. Click on the sketch, go to the Z axis, and I want to move this one up, uh, open up the expression editor, and I want to set the uh, pointing to the variable set. I type in here var for variable set, and I want to set it to the is true. Click OK. Now we just bring the sketch up in the Z axis. Okay, the next step is I want to offset this sketch uh, smaller. 
so I go to uh, the sketch and you can see this sketch is complex so I will highly uh, constrain in order to offset this I will select everything and I go to the offset or you can use the hotkey Z and T and by default is uh, the mod is arc so if you choose the intersection it's working but we lose detail in here I don't want that so I want to choose arc and I move inside so be aware that if you move inside too close to the center you will lose the detail of the step for example if you move down here inside here in here we have a point instead of a line we don't want that so i will move outside so that i to the position that i get uh, enough detail somewhere around here okay uh, but you can see now the inside geometry is not constrained so I, I will undo that and i will select this one again and go to the offset and this time i choose the add offset constraint and i move this one inside a little bit click on it okay now you can see uh, let me hide the uh, constraint you can see now uh, we have detail about this line okay this line is basically this line offset inside uh, this one and this one but this point from this point we have an arc this is something wrong over here so we need to fix that uh, this arc and this arc is fine this one this one fine this one is one is good good and this one and this one is good okay in order to fix this one i need to select in this arc uh, this line this arc and this arc and I turn that into construction. Hit G in N to turn that into construction. And I create a line, connect from this point. Make sure you zoom close. Move this uh, line away. And create a line, connect from this point up here. And this arc. From here to here. Select in this arc and this point and hit C. This arc and this arc hit E for ego. Now make sure these two um, touching each other. Uh, I select in this point and this line. I hit C. Okay. Now I hit G and T to activate the trim edge and then remove this edge and then this edge. Okay now how much i want to offset inside create a line connect from this point to this point this line will perfectly perpendicular with this line over here and because this point is the tension point so this point will be a perfect point for us to create the light to control how much we want to offset inside okay if you choose this light is possible but it will be harder so in this video i'm going to show you the easy way first and then the harder way later but first i need to select on off this light out um outside and turn that into construction geometry i hit g and n to turn that into construction now i have the um the smaller one on top and the bigger one at the bottom now i will looking for uh the point that is the the tension point i can choose this point is okay 
this point is also okay. Okay, this point is also okay. So I will control, select this point and this line and I create a new sketch based on the normal edge. Okay, and I will just create a line like this. And I select this line and this line. I hit D and I go to the expression. And go to the variable set for the tangent, the, uh, sorry, the topper angle. Okay, okay. And for the length, I will go to the expression and go to the variable set and we'll choose the true play ok and ok then i can close now if i go inside the sketch 002 uh, sorry the sketch 001 i have this line looking from the top and i will reference this line okay now i will show the constraints for the constraint, I will look in for the offset constraint over here, as you can see. Okay. And I will delete this constraint. Okay. I come back to here. Selecting this point and this point. I hit C. Okay. Now I close. And I will go to the loft. And I will love the sketch and the sketch uh, 001. Great solid. Click OK. Now it's just to set phone. And we can go inside the variable set and we can increase or decrease the number in here. I can go up to 60. OK, you can see. And I can go this one uh, up to 10. Nice. I can decrease this one to 40. Okay. And I decrease this one to 1. Okay. Nice. So, what happens if your sketch don't have the tangent point? So, let me hide the loft. If your sketch don't have the tangent point, you can choose this point also okay, or this point. Or oh, this point also okay. So let me show you how I make, uh, how I create the control line using this point. So I control selecting this point and this line, and I create a new sketch, also the same normal to edge, and create a line, go inside from the center, go inside. The same, I will set the angle to the variable set, the top angle, OK, and OK. And the length, I will go to the, uh, let's see, variable, uh, sorry, variable set, uh, it's true, OK, OK, nice. Now we have the first line, as you can see. It's a little bit hard to see. Let me go to the far set and set the angle to 10. Okay, nice. Now I can just select this point. It's really hard for me to select this point. So I will hide the sketch 003. Selecting this point and this line and create a new sketch based on the normal to edge and create another line like this and set the angle to variable set and the top angle okay okay and the same okay now i show the sketch 003 now i have two lines like this the next step, I go to the Curse Workbench. If you don't have the Curse Workbench, you can go to Tool, Add Out Manager, and search in for the Curve. 
click on the Curse Workbench and install the add-on. And then you restart and you have the add-on. You can just select the Visualize and you go to looking for this icon, the Miss Curve. Okay, now, now you can see, uh, this is another way and it works really well. You can see this line is perfectly fit to the, the offset. So let's go to the CST and this one to uh, fail. So the shed spotlight. Okay, so that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.